Here's my Tesla coil. I'm trying to tune it right now. I've been adjusting the primary tap point a couple times so far. The output's got a little bit better, but it's still not breaking out even with the breakout point up top. So I'm going to try now. I have it up one more coil turn for let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's on turn nine. Let's see if it gets some breakout this time. It sends a good arc to grounded objects and you'll be able to see that in a few I only have the power set at pretty much like one fourth right now because there's four gaps total and I'm running one gap so that of course decreases the power there's all my ground connections the neon sign ground and the RF ground are completely separate. The neon sign is a 9,000 volt, 30 milliamp Allison, and I have the RFI filter to get rid of any radio interference that would, could enter back into the house line. This is my safety switch right here. The grounding plug the switch is grounded. That's the only thing that runs to the house's ground. I use this surge protector. It's a really good surge protector. I use it for the on and off switch coil. Still need to get a variac so I can adjust the voltage. And just goes off over to the wall. Regular grounded plug extension cord fire extinguisher in case anything were to catch fire it's a electrical fire extinguisher too um, got a heater it's been cold lately it's my mess over here all this stuff used to build a coil I've been working on it about six months now maybe a little bit less and it's pretty much all together the bottom has the end cap on the only thing I haven't done is put the end cap on the top so far decided to just give it a test made this real fast so I can get some grounded strikes in just touch it to the strike rail to the top of it. Um, a Terry filter to help reduce any stress on the transformer and try to extend its life some. Got spark gap and uh, 15, 0.15 microfarad 2000 volt Cornell capacitors. There's 12 of them in series. Well, let's see how good it does with the new tap point on uh, the safety switch is already on, so everything's ready to go here. Let's see if there's any output without into the error. Seems about the same, so I'll show you the spark gap real fast here. Yeah. And uh, it's sending out a little corona, and so it's still not tuned. Let's put this down. Get my ground connector here.
so you can see pretty good output even though you need the ground to do it I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough primary turns here because it seems to get better every time I go up so I'm gonna have two more turns left to adjust with so we'll see well thanks for watching I got a tune in better.